Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to use branded domains in sub accounts. In this video, I will to show you how to configure branded domains including adding a CNAME through Domain Connect and manually. So suppose you are an agency owner and you have your own domain connected inside that agency account. Now there are many sub accounts linked inside your agency. That is sub accounts are the child account, you are the parent. So all your sub accounts by default will be linked with your own agency domain. So what you can do is if your sub account or separate business has certain own brand, so they can connect their branded domain and his agency domain. These are the two different things you need to understand. So branded domain is related to your sub account, all your brands related to payments, invoices, payment links, text to pay links and your calendars. All the links will be just be related with your branded domain by default. If you are not connecting your branded domain, what will happen? Your all accounts, payment, link, calendars, all this by default will be on agency. One, so you will not have your own brand. So to create personalized branding to be uniform everywhere, we need to create this domain. So I will show you what is the difference. Where is the agency domain and where is the sub account or branded domain inside username? So stay till the end. I will demonstrate where to find all this to follow all the steps. So as you can see here, this is the agency view inside the agency view. I'm in the settings part inside the settings. You will go to the company. So this you can see here, this is the API domain link. So this is the agency domain. Now we have to go in sub account. So once I go to the agency sub account, you have to go to the settings inside the settings. You have to go to the business profile. So inside business profile, there's the option called branded domain. Here we can add our brand standard domain. So what we can do is we can add. So this is the sub account inside this branded domain. You have to add a subdomain. It can be right. Can say tutorials.hub. Then we can basically go and we can add a branded domain. For example, I am going to name cheap domain site. This will be really easy to add. So all you have to do is sign in. Now, once you have to go your domain and you want to go to manage, then navigate to the advanced DNS tab. Now click the add new record button, select CNAME record from the drop down menu. Then here you have to add value. You will get the value here. Now click on all changes and wait for 30 minutes. So what is benefits of this? This update enhances brand consistency and provides a professional touch to all interactions involving invoice and payment links. Moreover, it resolves the issue of links being mistakenly blocked by antivirus software, ensuring a seamless user experience. So we hope this feature is very helpful for you. See you next time.